fishing the Sunray Shadow, it's a good ace card to have in your armory. In fact, any little extra tricks that you have, for me, that, that's one of the biggest things of salmon fishing and learning these other techniques is without a doubt one of the biggest joys. The Sunray Shadow is a fly typically tied on an aluminium tube, sometimes a plastic tube, normally about an inch long and it's the actual wing that is the most striking thing with a fly and because the wing is typically two, three, four, even five inches long. The Sunray Shadow is different to traditional type techniques. The two main reasons is one that we're casting at much bigger angles and secondly we're putting speed into that fly by means of drawing um, the shooting line as the fly is coming round. My ideal setup for fishing a Sunray Shadow will typically be on a shooting head. The shooting heads that I use in the main Vision Ace, it's about the 40 foot long. The reason why we want something quite compact is because we want that shortness so we've got extra room to strip the running line back. You can imagine if I was using say something like a 65 foot spay line, then unless it's a ginormous cast, then I'm not going to have much room for manoeuvre in drawing the fly around the pool. In my experience through teaching spay casting, guiding salmon fishing, fishing the Sunray Shadow does require a lot of, let's say, operator skills. It is quite difficult or can be quite difficult if you're not that familiar with managing your shooting line. Also as well, little tricks that we have to make things easier, such as walking during the actual cast can make you a lot more slick using this technique. Me personally, I prefer to use a Versi leader on the end of the shooting head. One, for extra taper anyway, way better flight in the air, but I like to have my fly fishing below the surface, my Sunray Shadow below the surface. For me anyway, the, the fish just seem to come and, and smash at the fly and the hookup ratio is way better when the fly is six inches a foot under the water. Times that I'd use the Sunray Shadow that saved a, an otherwise blank day is when there's fish clearly in the beat but they've maybe seen traditionally fish flies going over the top of them, something that's moving quite quick, something that little bit bigger, has saved a blank day. In my experience of salmon fishing and, and, and teaching salmon fishing, it feels something that's really important to learn. Just can sometimes break up what can be monotonous when you really do suspect that your traditional technique isn't working. It's nice to have something to fall back on.